Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is wellness and nutrition, and we're fortunate to have with us to talk about wellness and nutrition, uh, Ms. Sharon Rankin. Uh, Ms. Rankin is a national market director for National Safety Associates, and of course with Ms. Rankin's is Ms. Lisa McIndoo. Uh, Ms. McIndoo is a wellness coordinator for the National Safety Associates. And of course, uh, Ms. Uh, Rankin and uh, Ms. McIndoo, let me welcome both of you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you. Thank you. We're and, happy to be here. Well, good. And we're glad to have you here because I think the topic that we're going to deal with this morning, uh, wellness and nutrition, is something that is of uh, real concern, not only to my audience this morning, but I think it's sort of a national uh, concern in terms of, and certainly it's a concern to the people of the state of Tennessee mm -hmm. when we think in terms of uh, 10 care and some of the other problems that we are associated with dealing with health care. And so let's start off, Ms. Rankin, by uh, having you and uh, after you, Ms. Uh, McIndoo, to give us some information about your background, your education, and how you became involved in this whole thing dealing with uh, wellness and nutrition. Well, thank you for having us here. We're delighted to talk about wellness and nutrition always. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually a, a Nashville girl, raised here in Nashville, uh, moved away for a little while, but came back. Uh, my background is educated here in Tennessee, a uh, little bit of college experience, but really became full uh, focused on nutrition a few years ago, and actually 19 years ago began uh, my own business became an independent contractor with National Safety Associates, so I've had the best of every world. I've been able to own my own business, be in business for myself, but really not by myself, and as a result, I have been able to travel around the world with this, teaching and training, educating people on how they can take control of their health and, uh, and their wealth and, and, and their family's issues and helping them. So I am a mother, I have a, a grown child, I have three grandchildren, so that keeps me pretty busy. And uh, we're having a great time educating people about wellness. Very good. Ms. McIndoo. Well, I'm a wellness coordinator, and I work with professionals, and I work with families mm -hmm. in educating about nutrition and wellness. Mm -hmm. And I have a Bachelor of Science degree from David Lipscomb mm -hmm. University here locally mm -hmm. and worked professionally for several years mm -hmm. and then um, be decided to become a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. And I've always been interested in, in health and nutrition, and I've always been the kind of mom that always tried to serve very well-balanced meals and, you know, a meat and three kind of thing. In fact, we joke because when we don't have time, we don't have time to do that. The kids get real excited if they get to eat cereal or chicken noodle soup, you know. Mm -hmm. So we, I've really always been conscientious about serving, you know, vegetables and things. And, but we still were getting sick and having health problems, and I just didn't understand why. And I started searching and I found that fruits and vegetables were my answer, but raw as opposed to what I was doing, cooked. And so um, I got really excited about it because I could see the benefits from our, you know, from our family. And so I, I got in the business of educating people and sharing this information. Very good. You know, uh, Ms. Rankin, since uh, you've been involved with uh, wellness for the last 18 years, uh, let's have you over the last couple of minutes we have before our, our first commercial break to give us sort of an assessment of the uh, health of uh, the uh, people of the United States uh, <laughs> in, in wellness in a right. real sense. You understand? Okay. Well, traditionally in our country, we have treated our health as more of treatment and early detection. In other words, you got something wrong with you, you went to the doctor, you were treated for it. Mm -hmm. You know, you are, you are tried to detect early some issue, cancer or heart issue. But in the last five to ten years, we have seen a, a change in that where we've moved more to prevention. And how that plays out is in wellness and people taking control of their health, being proactive mm -hmm. versus reactive in what's going on in their bodies. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's quite exciting. I mean, that, trans, that translates into, of course, good health, but we're even talking about anti-aging, slowing, right. slowing the aging process down, mm -hmm. and I don't know who wouldn't be excited about mm -hmm. that. Right. But that's really where we're going in mm -hmm. the trends, 21st century prevention, mm -hmm. 21st century nutrition, mm -hmm. and the whole wellness revolution. And of course, I think Ms. McIndoo, uh, what we're saying here is that it's not going to be as expensive as it has been in a real sense in terms of dealing with some of these diseases, especially by prevention and right. treatment of some of these. Right, right, and, and getting children started early in good nutrition and understanding that the role that nutrition plays in their overall health, you know, can really get us started on a better path. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. And of course, I think uh, uh, very soon we'll have our first commercial break. And uh, I want you to, uh, the two of you, to be more specific in terms of the kind of uh, issues that we face uh, even now in right. terms of dealing with uh, wellness and some of the uh, other aspects of uh, wellness. Uh, perhaps uh, even looking at uh, your early experiences, Ms. Rankin, uh, you might be able, uh, before our first commercial break, uh, to give us some uh, understanding of uh, the first business that you were involved in. You said that you were involved in a wellness center. Now, how, how did that operate? Well, is just in teaching and training and educating people and certainly in environmental issues, environmental products, and now more specifically nutritional issues. That's really how that plays out. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, I do want to address that most of us know that Americans aren't very healthy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's what we really want to, sometimes before we understand the, the solution, mm -hmm. we have to understand a little bit about what mm -hmm. the problem is mm -hmm. and how that translates into everyday life. And, and, and of course, even as a wellness uh, a person who's been involved in it, you believe that in, in making the assessments that you're now making that most Americans are not uh, healthy. Uh, well, most aren't. <laughs> elaborate upon that in, in a real sense. Well, most of us, we realize that Americans aren't very healthy. Uh, we are the richest country in the world, but we're now considered to be a malnourished country. That's mm -hmm. not from not eating enough food. Mm -hmm. It's not getting the right kind of food. They're not right, right. The not right nutrients, uh, the convenience food, fast mm -hmm. food, processed food, refined right. foods. It just kind of goes on and on and on. Right. God created fruits and vegetables, and mm -hmm. uh, we've gotten far, far away from that. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, as a result, we've seen um, in, since the 1970, mm -hmm. bypass surgery has gone up 2,800%. Mm -hmm. um, heart disease, we spend something mm -hmm. like $117 billion mm -hmm. a year on heart disease. That's just heart disease. Mm -hmm. We're not talking high blood pressure or mm -hmm. diabetes right. or stroke. Mm -hmm. And uh, the economics to that, to this country, are pretty staggering. Mm -hmm. And children, children are getting good, those very at very young ages mm -hmm. now. Um, by the age of three, children are getting fatty deposits in their arteries. And by age 12, children are starting to have hardening of the arteries. Mm -hmm. So it's an epidemic. Uh, child diabetes is, is mm -hmm. on the major in, you know, increase. Mm -hmm. And also asthma mm -hmm. has gone up way mm -hmm. in, the, you know, in the last few years. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of health issues that are facing children at younger ages that we never mm -hmm. saw these kind of health mm -hmm. issues. 10, right. 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it goes back to what Sharon said, the mm -hmm. convenience foods, mm -hmm. the fast foods, mm -hmm. the processed foods. A lot of times, you know, we pull out processed foods, mm -hmm. already pre-cooked foods mm -hmm. uh, for supper. And so it's just, get it, we've gotten away from the fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. the mainstay, what should be the mainstay mm -hmm. of our diet to get those nutrients that we need to feed our bodies. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Ms. Rankin, uh, when you think in terms of uh, uh, children and uh, uh, prevention, how can you convince some mothers? Uh, <laughs> because you know, I think most children are uh, in the shape that they're in because they are absolutely. loved. And, and, but how do oh, you absolutely. keep uh, mothers from loving those children <laughs> too much? Well, it has a lot to do with education. I believe that most people aren't aware. Mm -hmm. Uh, as I've traveled around and I've had a chance to speak with different families, they're not aware of some of the things that are hurting their children. They think if you give them the ice cream, if you're good, Johnny be good, I'll, you'll get a bowl of ice cream kind of thing. That is the love. But versus, you know, let's help you eat a few more pieces of broccoli or something like that or get carrots. some fruit, carrots, get some extra pieces of fruit. So it is education, Dr. Haney, coming and doing our best to gift and train people uh, that they can start at a very early age with their children and raise them up in mm -hmm. a healthy manner. Mm -hmm. And of course, all of this will uh, certainly be to the benefit not only to the children, uh, Ms. McIndoo, but it will also be, as light, we get ready for this first commercial break, uh, it will also be benefit to the family and to the state as well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Globally. Very good. <laughs> and of course, uh, let me uh, uh, make preparations for the uh, first commercial break, and after we come back, we're going to have the two of you talk more specifically in reference to uh, the uh, product that the two of you represent okay. uh, just close. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following very short uh, commercial break. Wellness and nutrition.